Today is uh, 30th of uh for oh yes 30th of may 2023 and i'm going to conduct your speaking module of ellt my name is mr rose can you please tell me your full name my name is Arisha Abid. okay do you have any nickname no what should i call you you can call me varisha all right uh where are you from I am from Bahawalpur. Uh, Bahawalpur is the uh, city of the southern Punjab. It is an important uh, city of uh, southern Punjab and well-known uh, city. And uh, it is considered as the largest city of Pakistan. All right. Uh, so my first question from you, uh, can you please show me your ID? Can you please show me your room? That's fine. Thank you. Now there are four parts. The very first one is introduction. The second one is presentation. The third one is the essay which you have submitted uh, in your LWR. And the last one is a uh, picture description. So we will go for with the first one. So why do you want okay. to go to the UK? Uh, I selected UK for higher studies because uh, UK has the most top notch universities. Uh, courses are up to date. They provide a smooth education system and they allow students to complete their studies in shorter period of time uh, as compared to the other countries like Canada, Australia and America. All right. Uh, another question. Uh, what, what's your education? Uh, I'm doing my bachelor's program currently. I'm enrolled in eighth semester. All right. Uh, so what subject have you selected in the UK? I am selected um, MSc Education Studies in UK. So how does it relate to the, your previous study? Uh, it's, it's completely related to my previous studies because I am currently doing BS Education. Uh, and the subject that I choose is MSc Education Studies. It's completely uh, based to my previous studies. All right. Uh, uh, what, what, what do you do in your free time? Uh, well, I'm a student, so I didn't have enough free time. But sometimes when I feel bored or I am alone at home, so I prefer to hang out with my friends, watch movies and do some shopping. All right. Now uh, we shall move to the second part, which is on presentation. Your presentation talk, uh, topic would be up to three minutes, not less than three minutes, not more than five minutes. You can start your presentation by saying, well, I'll begin my presentation. When you end the presentation, you could you should say, Thank you for your attention. So yes, you can start your presentation now. I'll begin my presentation now. My presentation topic is interpersonal communication skills. Uh, so first of all, I will say that uh, interpers about interpersonal communication skills. Interpersonal communication skills is basically a skills uh, that we need to communicate uh, with other person. Uh, without interpersonal communication skill, we can't uh, uh, communicate with other uh, we can't communicate with others, so it is important. Uh, now I'll uh, say that uh, uh, there are some uh, major uh, points in it. Uh, first of all, I will discuss about active listening. Active listening is uh, uh, is involved in interpersonal communication skill because it is uh, uh, it involves eye contact uh, when we want to communicate with other person. It is uh, it is important that. Uh, we have a proper eye contact uh, to the uh, person. Uh, uh, without communication skills, we don't know about other person feelings, other person thoughts, and what the other person, uh, what the other person's ideas and other things. Uh, and um, interpersonal uh, communication is uh, uh, basically uh, basically a communication skills and. Um, uh, that uh, I think every person uh, must have adopted. And uh, uh, there are many benefits of interpersonal communication skill because when we talk to someone, when we have uh, 
communicate with someone it improves our uh, communication it improves our team work uh, and uh, i think it's uh, provide a, a smooth and friendly behavior to the others and to someone and uh, uh, communication uh, interpersonal communication uh, is a, uh, is also used in uh, students and offices and other uh, other institutions uh, uh, communication uh, skills is basically uh, uh, um, communication skills is basically an important factor and that is considered uh, much more in the every country and uh, nowadays uh, uh, emotional intelligence uh, is very relied uh, emotional intelligence is a part of interpersonal communication skills uh, because it is not a, a simple communication or a simple uh, wordings emotional intelligence uh, uh, is uh, rely on interpersonal communication skills because when we uh, when we feel and what what we feel we can speak and uh, with our uh, including our emotions and there are some also steps uh, uh, to improve our interpersonal communication skills uh, these are the factors uh, if uh, if a person adopt uh, uh, he or she uh, he or she will uh, improve their communication skills by uh, by uh, getting feedback if the two persons are communicating uh, i think it's a responsibility of uh, a persons to getting the feedback of others because if we don't uh, if we don't take the feedback of others we don't know what the other person uh, feels and thinks about you uh, so the i think the feedback is an uh, important part in interpersonal communication skills uh, if i uh, if i uh, speak in my uh, my personal thinking uh, i am a i am a university student and uh, we have a, we have a, a separate lecture uh, the our teachers give us separate lectures about interpersonal communication skills because they know that uh, because they know that when we are in uh, we are in the field of jobs uh, we are uh, in the field of uh, we are in every professional field uh, so they know that the communication skills is an important factor to communicate with the other person uh, to communicate with our employees or our uh, colleagues our family and friends uh, so they give us uh, uh, extra lectures on on special on this communication skills uh, uh, so uh, i think it is an important factor we have to develop a good communication skills not only a uh, not only a communication because uh, a communication is a single thing and active communication or teamwork and interpersonal communication is other thing uh, communication uh, must be a simple easy and um, uh, in that wording that every uh, person and everyone should easily understand and uh, easily uh, understand your language and you must have a, a teamwork and you must uh, you must have to uh, say, give feedbacks to the persons and now i'll uh, ex explain about the verbal communication uh, and, and oral communication i uh, it is uh, communication are, are of many types verbal communication interpersonal communication teamwork communication emotional communication active communication but uh, uh, i i'll say that the active communication is uh, uh, important because active communication and active listening involves uh, eye contact and face to face communication between two persons uh, when a student or when an individual uh, uh, when an individual uh, can communicate in active communication uh, it will enhance their speaking power uh, it will it will also enhance their uh, motivational power because it is a face to face communication uh, and um, uh, in conclusion i'll say that the uh, interpersonal communication skill is important to every individual to every person uh, because every person have to communicate with others and um, uh, he should adopt a good communication skills and uh, he must adopt a, a smooth communication skills and also give us a feedback and 
uh, to others. Mm, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Okay, that is fine. Thank you. Now we shall move to the third part, uh, which is about your essay, which you have submitted. So can you please tell me what was the topic of your essay? Uh, my uh, essay topic was that if you move abroad, should you maintain a connection uh, mm -hmm. with your family? Or should you uh, make a fresh start and embrace the new culture? Uh, uh, discuss viewpoints and conclusion. What is the meaning of emergent? You have used a word here. Uh, emergent means to emergent means to welcome. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of opportunities? Chance. Flourish. Uh, flourish means to grow up. What is the meaning of heritage? Heritage means culture. Okay. You have written here a sentence. So it also allows an individual to have a Culture identity, which is an important factor for a person's well being. And this thing uh, will help the individual to be connected with your heritage, values, and roots. What is the meaning of it? Sorry, sir. Uh, but it means that the person must have a connection uh, to their. Uh, families or to their countries because if a person have not connected to uh, uh, to their previous ones uh, they lose their identity so it is important for a person to make a, a proper connection uh, to uh, to their home country all right okay i believe remaining acquainted with one's culture and country creates a com a comfortable and adaptable environment. What is the meaning of it? So it means that it is good to have a start with a new country because uh, if you are in a new country, you uh, you uh, you know many things to like their culture, uh, their languages, their lifestyle. So the it means that. Okay, uh, you have written that staying in a connection with one's country builds culture. Okay, that's fine. Uh, immersion allows one to grow and adapt to a foreign culture easily. What is the meaning of it? Uh, immersion allows, sir, it means that immersion means obviously uh, uh, concentration. If we concentrate in the new country, uh, we will adopt many things we know about their culture, their lifestyle, uh, their work, and their language is also. Okay, uh, that is fine. Uh, another question. Uh, if you had more time, would you write something more apart from it? Uh, no, sir. It's enough. Okay, uh, from where did you pick the contents up? Well, the uh, content is my uh, own personal experience. Whatever I go at that time on my mind, I just wrote that. Okay. Uh... Okay, that's fine. Uh, thank you. Now let's move to the second, uh, uh, to the last part, which is non-picture description. So let's let's move to this. So let me show you a picture.
You have 15 seconds. Yes, you can start. Uh, well, the picture I can see on my uh, laptop screen uh, is that there are two persons uh, uh, that uses their mobile phones instead of any uh, personal and face-to-face uh, uh, -face communication. Uh, they prefer to use mobile phones instead of uh, uh, mm -hmm. instead of talking with each other and. Uh, uh, I the word uh, in the picture. I feel that there is a big communication gap between these two persons uh, because they use their mobile phones and they are busy in their uh, smartphones. Okay, what do you think that most of the people are moving like using their phones uh, along with sharing their family? So does it have any bad effect on? Yeah. Obviously, sir, it has bad effect. Uh, I think uh, the mobile phone is necessary, but not all the time. Uh, in uh, uh, in in family time, uh, uh, you should uh, not use your mobile phones uh, because it's a uh, time to uh, discuss and uh, discuss e each other feelings, each other experience. So it will. Uh, it will create a gap between the family and between two persons. Okay, that is fine. Uh, mostly people are saying that using mobile phone is better. Like, you know, mostly nowadays in this modern era, most of the youngsters, they, they do not give time to their families, though they spend all their time on using mobile phone. Uh, yes, sir, I know it's a modern era, but I think all time use mobile phones is not better. Mobile phones is necessary, I know that, but uh, not every time. Uh, is, well, the, as the picture is shown, there are two persons and they are using mobiles, and I think it's a tea break, uh, but they still use mobiles. Uh, so... I'll see that uh, there is a big gap and if the person, if an individual do this, uh, uh, they will obviously uh, have a gap uh, and uh, uh, they feel lonely uh, and they, uh, they feel alone due to their mobile phones and due to the extra use of their smartphones. Okay, that is fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. You will get your result very soon. Thank you.